Good day. My name is Brian R. Smith, and I'm a student at Full Sail University where I'm going for my mobile gaming masters. And I'm working on a game, and it's called World War I Flying Circus, where you fly for family, for country, and prestige, die and be forgotten. I'm going to take you through, uh, it's called Milestone Number Two. It's basically the second week of, you know, of my heads down kind of development. Take you through a splash screen, through the settings, uh, updates that I made to there, and all the different kinds of changes to the, uh, to the sound and uh, audible clicks that you get when you press buttons. So to start with, I'm going to do the splash screen, and I'm going to share my screen here. And I'm going to do my desktop. And I'm just going to show you the, the one of the things I wanted to do for the splash screen was to do all this, you know, a nice fade in for my logo and a fade out for my logo. And so I was watching YouTube videos and wow, so, you know, sometimes Unity just uh, really astounds you. So if we go over here and take a look at project settings, stumbled across this where probably everybody else knew that this was here. But here's Unity splash screen. They've got their uh, default uh, logo that uh, shows up automatically. Uh, but here, look at that. It was just as simple. And, and this is the default one. Adding another logo, drag and drop my graphics into there, a few settings, and hey, voila, I have a splash screen. So that turned out to be just trivially easy, very uh, easy exercise. The other thing I wanted to do as part of the, the, the uh, firing up the game and you know while the game is just getting started, I wanted to, for this uh, milestone number two, just create just a, a, a hub or a stub to Firebase. And you can see over here, I've got it all configured and open it in the console. I've got a little bit of code running that just basically uh, taps the, the Firebase uh, server to kind of make sure that everything is up to date and running. You can see here, I've had a number of activities with that. So it's just a stub, haven't played with it yet, but indeed Firebase is where you want to store for, you know, do the uh, user authentication, store information about the maneuvers and everything about the game. That's going to be my uh, online cloud database. So uh, with that, then I'm going to stop the sharing here. And I'm going to fire up over to, let me stop that sharing, over to the uh, Galaxy Tab A here. So let me share that. So I want to share the screen there. And we'll let this uh, kind of warm up here a little bit. And there we are. So that's the uh, the screen in the Galaxy Tab A. So let's take a look at that splash screen as I fire up the uh, World War One Flying Circus. There's the Unity, and there's my uh, company's logo. And the background there is the same surface uh, image that you would you're normally flying over. And it's basically from a uh, Rick Tofkin's War. It's a 1970s um, uh, Avalon Hill game. So. Uh, so here we are, and what I'm going to do, oh, I'm, I'm driving this like I'm, uh, I'm on my Macintosh, but I get to use my fingers here. So I'm doing um, the settings. And so here are the different settings. You can see I've been here before. I've got my parameters and my settings in uh, French, but I can change the different language here uh, to whatever I want. But basically, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to change it to German. I'm going to turn on vibration and... Uh, turn on the Schnell pass, which is the uh, quick pass, and then exit out. And then I'm going to kill this game, actually. So it should have saved that information um, to the, basically, the, you know, the file system on, uh, on this device. And I'm going to kill Unity. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to kill my Google One Flying Circus. And then get back to here so I can fire it back up again. And we're going to go through the, the splash screen, loading all the uh, objects, and then into the game here. Thank you. There we go. And then back to settings. And we can see here we're in, we're in German. We've got our <laughs> sound meister, uh, the, uh, the sound master, Klein Meister in German. And, uh, um, and so everything was saved there. The Schnell Pass is turned off. So, the, um, so that's the, the save and restore settings. Uh, and then just settings in general. So that I want to take you through the different languages. Um, so I've got the, the English, French, German, Italian, uh, Spanish. There's the Spanish. And notice as I change the settings or change the language, it's, uh, the settings are changed right immediately. If I go out and I'm in Spanish, I'm going to do a balloon busting scenario. All the uh, words there are in Spanish. So let's just quit 
back here, back to settings. Um, the other thing is, uh, well, with the language I played with, and it took a little while to get this to, to work, but uh, I added uh, Chinese, and there it is in the simplified Chinese. I added uh, Japanese, and there it is. Uh, you can see for the Japanese, there is a, I can see some kanji, and there's a katakana and some hiragana. Um, good old fashioned Japanese. And speaking of that, and then here's the um, Korean. So anyway, um, took a little bit of work to actually get these um, uh, these fonts, uh, you know, working in Unity, but I've got that all figured out. Uh, in the version I'm going to share with you, I'm going to strip it out because the build size uh, is really big, about 130 meg. And I saw that Underdog doesn't allow anything over 100 meg. So it's a tad bit um, uh, not, uh, I, I've got to figure out how to cut down the, uh, the size of this if I do distribute uh, in these um, double byte character sets. Okay, so there's, you know, Korean's a fine language, but uh, let's just go back to uh, French. And so those are the, the languages. Then the other thing is I, I, I have is this master sound. Um, and so if I shut that off, you can see that it, it uh, shuts off and it, I can't, I'm trying to slide and touch the vibration. And of course I've deactivated those sliders. If I exit out of there and go back in, it's saved that setting. Uh, if I turn it back on, it remembers where it was before. So I think that's a pretty nice feature. So that's kind of the, I call that the, the sound master. All right, then the next thing is the immediate feedback. You saw for the languages, uh, if I change that, it immediately changes over to that language. Uh, but also too, I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this, but uh, if I do the engine noise, I'm hearing the engine noise going up in volume and going down in volume. I wonder if I can even cheat and turn up the volume here a little bit. I best not. All right, so just do it. Just trust me with this. Okay, so that's the uh, engine noise. And then here's the music up and down in volume. And then even the special sound effects. The, the, uh, the, this is the, the physical clicking of a button. It changes it's the sound, the, the volume, as I move the slider around. And then vibration. This Galaxy Tab A doesn't have vibration, but if you turn off the vibration, it does nothing. If you turn the vibration on, it gives you a nice little uh, little pulse. Uh, the other settings really don't see, you don't see anything right away. Uh, for the best frames per second, this one, I'm going to turn that off. And then go into the one of the great ways of actually seeing if that's working is I'm going went into the credits, and probably this is not going to work all the well because it's going across the, the internet. But you can play with it yourself. I can see it jerking. Uh, it's like a ta -ta 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 as it's climbing up the screen. If we go back out and turn on the best frame rates, the best frame rate is going to be 30 frames per second. Uh, the if you uncheck that, it's going to be 15 frames per second. And then if I click over, oops, I almost did the uh, stop share. I don't want to do that. If I click the credits again, I can see anyway on the Galaxy Tab A, it's a much smoother scroll. It's kind of chunky as it's going across the internet here. But don't worry about that. Uh, play with it yourself. Okay, that's the things I wanted to show you in the settings. All right, so let's take a look then at sound. Uh, we've got the machine gun noises, of course. Uh, we've had those before. Uh, the button click. So if you do click on a button, well, here, let me uh, get back into settings and turn. All the way up to full. So if you click on a, a button, you can hopefully hear that audible click. So it's a, it's a good mechanical sound uh, button click. Then for the sliders, with the main slider, there's a kind of a softer tick, 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 tick. As you go through the different, um, you know, let me turn off the, oh, by the way, yeah, with these settings, you can just hit the icons too, and they'll just drop, a, drop, drop straight down to zero. So go out of here. So the clicks and the special uh, sound effects are still there. And so that's for the sliders. And then uh, even if you're gonna be doing like a balloon busting, 
and these sliders also have an audible click to them as you're as you're sliding through. So that's the desired effect right there. Okay, that's the sliders, and then the maneuver selection. Oh yeah, so uh, back into the balloon busting. Back into balloon busting. Uh, you can you can hear when you when you select the uh, the first uh, maneuver. There's kind of like an engage click click, and then when you click it again. Now it actually, you know, it's like a, a, a lever that's being pulled and then a lever that's being released. It's like you're locking in the maneuver and then releasing the maneuver. So it's a nice, you know, solid kind of clunking kind of noise. So again, this is more for the um, just, you know, for the audible kind of versions of, the, of, of playing the game. You, you like to hear these kind of mechanical things when you're hopefully, you know, thinking that you're actually pushing mechanical buttons. For the vibration, uh, there really was no changes. I went in and kind of verified everything was working with that, but I didn't. I ended up not making any changes to the timing or to the to the code that runs there. So that's the sound. All right. So the last thing I want to do is uh, that was it. The splash screen, the settings, and the sound. Those are the things. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop my screen share from my Galaxy Tab A, and I'm going to start sharing my screen from my Mac. And I want to just take you through some of the code to uh, to make this all happen. Uh, so here's the Firebase code. You know, basically uh, pretty simple. Just fire it up and uh, check to make sure that uh, it's got all the dependencies, and then it just touches the server. So I get a, a record of the event. The other thing is in the initial values. Um, so I uh, one of the things is if this is the first time that this device is playing World War One Flying Circus the absolute first time. I have default values for all the different settings, and I read them in from this init values and then write them back out to the file system, and then I remember it from that file system um, as I go through. So this is just a, a little update there. And then over here in uh, World War One Flying Circus, I just want to take you through these um, MS2 um, points in the code where I made some uh, significant changes. So the first one is, as part of the splash screen work, I wanted to kind of optimize um, uh, the, not optimize, but uh, uh, make it more efficient in terms of, uh, of when I'm going to uh, do different activities. And there's in, uh, when, a, um, uh, when a Unity game fires up using the mono behavior, there's the awake, and then there's also the start. And awake happens first, start happens second, and the certain things I wanted to do in awake to make sure that those things were done before they actually then start in the start in the start. So uh, basically, in the wake, what I did is I do have some debugging uh, business that's going on just to you know, make sure I'm uh, well, you know, debugging to a log so I can kind of keep track of things. Um, and I made a little bit change there too. Uh, if the if I'm in the Unity editor, that I want to have debugging on. But if I'm actually you know, to an Android or iOS, or basically anything else other than the Unity editor, then I'm going to turn all the debugging off so I'm not wasting any CPU cycles writing logs that uh, nobody's going to read uh, in Walla Walla, Washington. OK, so the um, uh, next thing I do, I'm just, well, these are just things that were, were down in the, uh, the start. But I'm reading in all the, um, the persistent information from the, uh, from the file system, so that's where I'm uh, on the other side of that, I write into there, and here's I'm, I'm reading it back out again. I calculate what my current language is going to be on my system by taking a look at what the language is for this system, and then uh, what is the actual system setting, and then I calculate based upon language of the system and my language setting what the current language is going to be. It's another helper routine, often localization mine. I um, get Photon ready and uh, working there. And I set up my ads, so the uh, uh, ad advertisements get that all um, set up and working. So basically, and then everything else is the normal things I was doing in start. So that's the uh, first kind of change I did there. Um, down here, this is all the code that supports all the buttons and sliders and toggles in the settings page. And so action settings is this is sets up the page to turn things on and off as dependent upon the, the setting for the sound master. Um, so you can see things like the, you know, the value for the, um, the sound effects 
sound is a product of the sound effects volume times the sound master. And if sound master is zero, which means it's off, then well, the product of that is going to be zero, so it's going to be turning off the value. If sound master is one, then you get the full value of this, whatever that is, and this could be, for example, 0.5. So that's you know, some good old fashioned uh, mathematics there. So that's the action settings. And then this is the, uh, for setting up the locale, this is the, uh, the MRI, the localization. And then the, the sound master uh, toggle button, it turned out to be a little bit more complex than, than I thought, but basically, you know, as you're turning it on, right? We're gonna go to that one value, as you're turning it off, it's going to the other value. And then you're updating all the other settings based upon that so that the, the volumes are all adjusted uh, with that. And then, you know, I make those uh, sliders and buttons and uh, the toggles uh, uh, interactable if Soundmaster is, uh, basically if it's turned off, then it's not interactable and then you can't slide those anymore. So that's basically the, the logic there. And then the uh, engine noise slider and the, these, um, all the different uh, sliders. So as you, as you do change those values, here I am um, real time updating the, the volume so that uh, you can hear as you're pressing this, you're moving the slider back and forth, you actually hear that the volume is increasing and decreasing. Vibration, uh, you actually do, you know, say, hey, if the vibration is turned on and Soundmaster is turned on, then let's, let's give them a small little pulse. It's basically the same pattern as the uh, distance three shot, which is the long, long range shot in a World War I Flying Circus. Best performance just updates the, uh, the frame rate. Um, and then the when I go to the main menu from the action settings, uh, I need to basically um, save all that information. So I, I do the uh, save the user, user settings here. And then uh, just make sure that I'm restoring the, because as, as you're changing the slider volume levels, if, I'm, if you're working on the special effects sound, that's gonna be the current thing that is, is playing right now. And I just wanna make sure that uh, you know, what you're going to do is when you go back to the main menu, we're going to be playing the background music. And there we are. The last thing was just that the user settings uh, read and write to read and write this to the file system. Basically, the read uh, just sees if the file is there. If it isn't there, we're going to initialize it uh, with the, the write. And if it's also not the right format, we're going to do the same kind of uh, here. This is to the the right init right there. And if it's not the right format, then we also write it there. And then we basically read in uh, and build up the dictionary of all those uh, values and then use them in the game. And here's the right init that uh, reads, um, or writes it out for the first time. And then here's the right. So this is writing it back out to the, uh, to the file system. So, wow, um, not a lot of code. Uh, but a lot of activity, uh, just making sure that everything kind of fits all together. The splash screen, the settings, and the sound all integrated. And that's why I wanted to have those all in one milestone because they're they're all related. So if you, you know, it's just like any kind of piece of spaghetti. I'm not saying my code is spaghetti code, but uh, if you pull on one little piece of uh, spaghetti out of there, you're going to move everything in the plate. And uh, so I just wanted to make sure that I was, as I was making all these changes, um, I could make them all at the same time and, and, and clean up any spaghetti code that I had to, to make it as efficient as possible. All right, so the other is, um, the next thing for the next milestone is gonna be a community. Um, I haven't really figured out how to do community. Of course, you know, even prior to this week, I didn't even figure out how I was gonna do a splash screen. Uh, so it's gonna be just a lot of uh, reading and uh, figuring out what the best state of the art is for uh, working with community. And then credits and story. Credits I've already got uh, logically done. I think I need to make you know, just a few improvements to it with the story, you know, writing the story and kind of the background for that. So with that, um, it's the same kind of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna stop my sharing. Boy, your fingerprints, cards and letters, you know, let me know what you uh, like and don't like and any suggestions for making improvements. Um, kind of related but unrelated to uh, to this, this is milestone number two for milestone number one. I've also pushed the changes that Professor Penny uh, suggested for those. I've already pushed those back into there and shared with him a um, working APK of that, um, which if you were really paying attention, you would have seen some of those things uh, as I was playing the game on the, uh, the Galaxy Tab A. So 
thank you. And with that, uh, I'm going to uh, stop the recording. Thanks again.